Hey everybody, this is Sean here with Rugged Outdoors and today I want to talk about how to catch bass, pre-spawn, and even in winter fishing. So stay tuned. Here on this channel, uh, we talk about all things related to getting outdoors, whether it's hunting, fishing, or camping, I'm going to talk about it and give you different tips and tricks for it. So um, if you're into those things, consider subscribing. And um, today I'm going to be talking about a technique to use whenever you're out fishing in cold water, um, pre-spawn, um, even early, yeah, just typically just pre-spawn time frame, and uh, even winter bass fishing. And that's using the A-Rig. So this right here is the Alabama rig or a rig or oh umbrella rig it gets called also essentially it's a bait that has a whole bunch of hooks in this case mine's got five this is the yum dinger uh, flash mob junior it's got the spinner bait style um, blades on it and five hooks and it, when you buy your alabama rig it doesn't come with the jig heads um, and it doesn't come with the swim baits um, most of the time some different ones do but the flash mob junior does it this is the smaller one they have a flash mob which is even bigger than this and but during the winter and pre-spawn when that water's cold and they're feeding on a shad this is a fantastic bait to use um, it's got to, to in order to use this bait um, you've, there's a couple things you have to do different than you would probably do with other tile uh, baits that you use um, let's talk about the rod first. So the rod that I'm using is a Falcon Kara Amistad, just short of using a broomstick. Um, it's pretty stiff. You can tell here, um, even for the tip, it's not super fast, but it's a um, really, really stiff rod, um, which is what you need to throw this thing for one, because it weighs quite a bit. The other component of this is I use a braid for this. Um, in this case, I'm using a 60 pound Berkley uh, braid. Um, on here and I'll put description uh, links to all these items down in the description below, but um, I use a 60 pound braid some people use 40 some people use higher I typically use a 60 because when you fish this with this many hooks You're going to get hung. It's just gonna happen whether you hit a log Rock whatever and in order to get this off a lot of times you're pulling on it and you want to make sure that you don't break the line the other thing that I use is I use a least expensive reel. This one I'm using is a, a Lose Speed Spool, the SSG 1H. Uh, for me, it's an older one because this reel is going to get a lot of abuse um, from throwing such a heavy bait, trying to throw it as far as I can, um, and reeling it in. So um, I usually don't use a very expensive reel for this. Um, there's lots of good ones, and I'll put some other uh, different reels I think that would be really good. Now, the way this bait gets fished, typically you're going to be trying to find um, main lake points for this and fish off of it you know, you're gonna cast it out and let it sink typically pretty close to the bottom and in the winter like right now this water is like 44 degrees it's pretty cold so I'm reeling pretty slow the technique that a lot of people will use is they'll change this middle bait to be larger and maybe even a different color uh, than some other ones than the other uh, swim baits that they're using on the a rig and that's a great technique is too. I've left mine all the same. Um, but the other thing that's going to be important is the knot you tie to get this braid on here. I use a polymer knot. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, there's a link to a video right up here where I talked about some of the other knots that I use for fishing. But the polymer is a great knot for tying on to baits uh, such as this, like the A-Rig. So, you know, if you're looking for wanted to fish the A-Rig and you're not really sure what the equipment to use, again, the rod you're going to want, you're going to want to find a stiff, heavy rod. You're, um, mine is a 7 foot 3. You're going to want to find 60 pound, maybe 40, 50, 60 pound braid line of some kind and a, a reel that can take some abuse because, um, again, throwing this bait uh, takes a lot of work. Um, another factor of this rod that I like is it has a longer uh, butt end of it so that whenever I want to go to throw it, um, it works pretty well. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, like us if you want to, and we look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.